Buongiorno, Bulldogs. Buongiorno. This is Dr. B in Italy, if you can believe it, at John Cabot University. I'm sitting here with student Natalie Bycraft, who's in the College of Business, a public relations major, and we're just going to chat a little bit about what's it like being a study abroad student here in Italy. So, Natalie, how's it going? So great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Can you believe that we are here in Italy? It still hits me sometimes, even yeah. though we're a week in. Even though what? Even though we're a week in. We are a week, yes. We're, it's a week in the, to the program, and we're here for how long? We're here for five weeks of five classes. Weeks. And there are all kinds of activities that you're participating in, and you've got two classes that you're taking, right? Correct. Um, I know the class that you're taking with me. Tell us about the other class that you're taking. The other class I'm taking is called Renaissance Romanist Monuments, and it's an art history class. And we meet on site with the other students, ready to learn about the artwork that we're seeing in front of us, instead of just seeing a picture of it. Wow, very cool. So, are there anything, anything that stood out to you that was like, oh, that one, that one was really cool? Is there any one that just jumps out of you like, oh, that was the best? We haven't actually been on site yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. later today, actually, we'll be on site somewhere. Okay. And then will you be meeting at different sites throughout the term? Yes, wow. and it'll differ each time, and we just have to account for the amount of time it takes to get us there. Very cool, very cool. Um, so you've had some fun excursions and things that you've done outside the classroom. Can you tell us about some of the things that you've done there? Well, one example that comes to mind is that we went to the Santa Mariela Beach for the 4th of July all together as Bulldogs United, and it was a lot of fun. We sat on the beach and we swam in the Mediterranean Sea, and then all had lunch together in gelato. That was a great day. And it, and it was beautiful. It was just absolutely gorgeous. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us about what's a typical day for a study abroad student? For me, a typical day is probably waking up and getting ready and then possibly grabbing a coffee and a croissant at the bakery and coffee shop that's along our way to campus. And then we all walk together to our first class we all have lunch together, and then we split off into groups for our other classes, and usually we'll meet up later on in the night and all go out to dinner and possibly have some wine or go out for gelato again. We do it a lot. It's delicious. <laughs> I love gelato. What's your favorite flavor of gelato? So far, I really like the coffee flavor. But uh, I'm looking to try a lot of flavors. <laughs> There's so many choices, yes. I know, so many. <laughs> I, I've been getting into the pistachio, and it is outstanding. I definitely recommend it. So, last question What's your favorite thing that you've experienced so far while being in Italy? My favorite thing is that being in Rome or being in Tristote is kind of becoming our usual routine. And it's kind of like we're actually living in a different country and everyone speaks a different language and it's it's really interesting that we get to experience this. So that full immersion into the culture and into the neighborhoods with the actual people. Exactly, exactly. That's very cool. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, thank thank you. you for your time. And why don't we sign off by saying one, two, three, go Bulldogs! Bulldogs.